Hello, uh, I'm going to show you uh, this pretty cool range indicator that I made today. Um, it's just a simple shader with a cylinder. Um, so here's the cylinder. Um, it's only showing the back faces, so you can just make this by going into Blender, popping out a cylinder, um, and then recalculating the normal so that they face inward only. Um, so uh, it actually doesn't really matter whether or not you have back faces or both faces, but by having back faces it lets you kind of pop over here and then turn off two sided so that you only have the inner face showing, which is a pretty interesting, pretty cool effect. Um, and lets you kind of show different effects for the inner and outer areas of the cylinder. Um, so we're just going to turn that back on really quick and um, I'll just show you kind of quickly how, how the shader works. Um, basically it's just got the cylinder. Um, it's good if you have any abilities in your game that need to show a range. I was kind of inspired by this one by Chamber from Valorant. Um, it has some oscillation going on as well and um, it's sort of has a tight inner ring and then a gradual fall off. And all of that's governed by uh, this color here. So you can kind of adjust the color as you would like. So I'll just walk through what the shader looks like. Um, so just first of all, it's a transparent additive shader, um, unlit. And you have to make sure that you have cast shadows uh, off. Otherwise you'll get some kind of weird artifacts, um, some weird shadowing going on. We don't want that. So just walking through the shader now, just pop this open. We have these, uh, what, six different parameters, fall off, color, inner band start, width, uh, the oscillation speed and intensity. Uh, basically, we just first take the object itself and then, um, uh, how to explain it? Um, find the distance from the center of the, 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 y, the y of the object. Um, and we use that to kind of have this gradual fall off going on. Um, we do a 1 minus so that when it's closer to the uh, 0 of the y of the object, then um, it's closer to 1. And then as we get further away, it gets closer to 0. Um, we add that together with this inner band. So this is also using this 1 minus, but we're using a remap node to tighten it up a little bit. So for example, you can adjust the inner band width um, like that. We'll tighten that up or loosen it up. And you can also use the inner band start. And we use that to create a nice tight uh, inner sort of uh, bright zone uh, before we get to the fall off, sort of combined with the fall off. Um, we run that through a smooth step and then add these together. And the fall off is running through a power node so that it has that gradual fall off. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that, but I think it looks nice. And then the next thing that we do is we take this. Voronoi node, we run um, a time node multiplied by an oscillation speed. So I think one is kind of high, but um, basically this is the result of that. We're just panning through on the um, sort of like x, y axis together. And it's giving this nice sort of fade in, fade out um, that's a little less consistent than like a sine, sine time node. And then we multiply that by the oscillation intensity to kind of increase or decrease how strong this effect is, and we also multiply it by the final output from this so that we're only getting that oscillation happening where we're having the lighting itself. Then we add that back on top and then multiply it with the color, and then we have our final base color output. You can see that alpha here is just listed as one since it's just a um, additive uh, blend. We don't really need to worry about the alpha. Let's just save that, pop back over here, um, and I'll show you some of the settings. So as we adjust the fall off, we can go further or tighter. The inner band can go tighter or closer. The width can go tighter or closer. And then the oscillation can look interesting if you bring it up some something quite high. Um, it can also look nice you know, at lower values. Anyway, so you can get this um, on my Patreon, um, which I'll link below. And uh, thanks for watching.